here's a game I've been playing to help improve my game. And if you've been watching the channel, at the start of the season, I started out really bad. But I'm really coming together at the moment, and this is exactly what I did. Now, I've done this at every golf club I was a member of, but I didn't have track man or anything like that, and I did it by pacing out. But I'm going to show you what I did, and I do now for practice. When I was growing up, we didn't have lasers, we didn't have yardages, and something's creeped into the game that I actually hate. I hate when people say, oh, it's an awkward number, it's an awkward yardage. But, right, everybody wants to hit full air shots all the time. And it wasn't like that back then. We didn't even know the numbers, so no, nothing could be awkward and nothing could, could be anything like that. So here's what I've been doing to actually, do, and that's what, this is why I'm dead against gapping sessions as well. I don't think they're, they're any benefit. Like I'm an average golfer, hopefully above average golfer. I've broken par before, a lot of people haven't. I, I can't consistently hit my irons full out and get the same yardage out of them over and over again. So a gapping session to me is useless. It's absolutely useless. Like if, if I'm on the course, I'm like, no, my my eight on goes one five five. I can't I can't hit that one four seven shot. You know that way. It's it's absolutely pointless. I want to get the ball close to the hole every time. Here's what I've been doing to mitigate that, to get away from that. Now I've tracked man, but as I said, when I was a member in Craddockstown and they just had a field to hit in, I'd go out with my alignment sticks and I'd actually pace this out. This is what I did. This is how I went from eighteen to five in like six months. This is what I did in Nace. They had a, they had a range. We get, we, they have a, not only a range, but they have a, a wedge area and everything. This, this is what I did there, day in day out, and this is what actually works. What actually lowered my handicap. There's trackman ranges around. There's, there's everything. There's no excuses, right? Got my 60 degree in hand, and literally, this is what I do. I hit a 50 yard shot with it. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> and then guess what? When I'm comfortable hitting a 50 yard shot, I'll hit a 60 yard shot. And I'll do that all the way up to 200. It sounds simple. It bloody is. And that's why people don't want to do it. They'd rather just whack, you know, no, you know, I hit my lob wedge 80, 90 yards. For a lot of people, if you strike it inconsistently, it's better to have uh, a shot that you know, okay, I can get this club to go this yardage. I'll never. Oh, there. <laughs> 47. There you go, look. I'll, I'll never, ever. The only club I hit full out is my driver and my tree wood. That's it. I'll never, ever. To me, golf is about getting closer to home and shooting lower scores. I know that always doesn't work out, but, <coughs> but... So, look, as you can see, practice works. 47 yards carry. It's exactly what I wanted. I don't need a lot of club speed for that. It's really simple. Do that. And I just hit 50 yard pitches. They're 48. You can tell this is something I work on. If you've been watching the videos, this is really, this is what it is. I see, okay, I can hit the 40, 50 yard shot. Like I'm obviously giving myself a bit of leeway, like everybody should. It's like, okay, now let's hit the 60 yard shot, you know? Probably about 65, that one. 58, there you go, pretty much bang on. But you can see how this can relate to the golf course. If I know I have 50 yards, I know what a 50 yard shot feels like. If I have 60 yards, I know what a 60 yard shot feels like. I'm not panicking, I'm not like, oh, I'm in between clubs. No, you just, Ooh, a little short, I'd say. No, 57, that's pretty good. So, essentially, this is how I've been practicing. And you go up through the bag, up through the yardages instead of going through the bag. But like when you get to certain spots, like a spot for me would be around the 90 yard mark. And let's say I've 90 yards, I'll actually do it with two clubs. So I have 56 in hand. When I get to certain yardages, I'll try to do it with two clubs. And this is just so there's overlap and it makes it easy. So I don't have to swing hard at it. I don't like swinging hard at it purely on the base. I want to be in control of it. I want that ball closer to the hole. You know, I just... 
If it's only a, like a little gap wedge, a little chip, you know, 87 yards. I'm, I'm very much in control of that shot. Like I'm not trying too hard, I'm controlling it. It's, and then I have the 56 as well. If I want to bring it in high, softer, greens are firmer. You understand? So you have a shot for each of them. That's how I've been practicing. I go all the way up then to 200 yards to try and get closer. You'll notice on some of the videos, like from 220, I'm, get, I'm getting quite close. This is why I'm, how I'm doing this. It's, it's not a mystery. It's not anything like that. It's just literally forget about gapping. Forget about, I hit my eight iron, X number, I hit my seven iron, X number, who cares? Who cares? Can you do it repeatedly is the thing. And that's what I'm practicing here. You can do it too. You don't need a launch monitor. It is preferred. <coughs> but it's quite simple, you can pace it out. That's what I used to do. If 90%, 99% of the golf courses that we go to have wedge areas, have somewhere to hit balls like that in a field without a driving range, and you can do it there. I've done it there in those locations. Obviously, I have the track man here, which is amazing, but you can too. You can go all the way up through your bag, through the yardages, and you'll be happy out. It will lower your scores, I guarantee it, if you just do that. Hope it helps you. Let me know if it does. See you next time.